professional journalists. We see new forms of media emerging every day almost. Uh, it's uh, a rapidly changing space and is fundamentally changing the world of the media. And therefore, I think it may be of benefit to consider having a stream that examines that part of the work, not just journalists themselves, but the journalists mixing with technologists, with civil society, to look at uh, this uh, changing world of the media in the mobile age we live in. Um, Mr. Tsai, I, I, I too share the views of uh, uh, many other speakers that this, is, I think, has been a superb conference, and uh, congratulations to the organisers, and particularly to our hosts here in India. Thank you. The gentleman there, and then there is another gentleman out there at the back. Can we get the mic to him, please? Uh, as an Indian, I would like to thank the people who have come here from all over the world to participate in this IGF. And by participating, you have expressed your solidarity and friendship with the people of India in the context of the tragic incidents that happened in Mumbai just before the IGF. And the feeling across the whole IGF has been quite strong that the IGF is a very unique experiment in multi-stakeholder governance and that three years is too short a period of time to come to a conclusion about whether that's the way to go or not. And uh, therefore, while the exercise next year may be more in terms of assessing to figure out what we can do to make it more effective, whether it should be an evaluation is something that I would have as a question for myself. But obviously there are things that we can do to make it even more effective and I have a specific suggestion to make in that regard. The suggestion was also discussed in quite a few workshops and the main sessions here as well, which is uh, that the IGF is a one in a once in a year kind of a forum. People meet here for four days. There's enough time to hear, listen to one another, but not enough time to come to some kind of a reasonable consensus on some of the issues that we face. So like one gentleman mentioned, you have data sharing happening, discussed in one place, data privacy in another, and there isn't enough time to put it together. And I think that perhaps we need to move from an institution-based focus, which we have been seeming to have in the IGS. For example, we discuss is ICANN the right body? Is ITU a better body? But maybe we need to move from that to an issue-based focus, right. where we data privacy and data sharing. And then you have a group of people spending considerable amount of time discussing pros and cons. And this, of course, would be a multi-stakeholder group that would go into it. We have a uh, very excellent example of this that happened as a part of the business process, which is the working group on internet governance that was shared by yourself. And I think uh, the document that this group came out with was considered the varying diverse opinions of various people. At the same time, it was able to give some kind of a direction to Tunis. And I think uh, between now and Cairo, and between Cairo and uh, the last IGF, if we can set up specific working groups on identified issues, I think we would be able to make significant progress. One issue I would like to suggest, and that is again coming from discussions that have happened in various workshops, which is to look at a rights-based framework for internet governance. And people have said that if inclusion is what we should focus on, if inclusive information society is what the Declaration of Principles called for, the next billion maybe is now the right term. We are looking at the last billion, we are looking at everybody. And I think this will also address the concern that some people have raised. Why aren't we seeing more governments here? Why are we seeing more people from the southern civil society here? And I think when we start talking in terms of making sure that the la last woman, and I'm sure the last person will be a woman and not a man, so maybe you should change the term. The last person who's going to get connected to the internet is the person we should be focusing on. I'm sure you'll find more people from Africa, more from Latin America, more from various countries in Asia coming in. I was, for example, surprised that India, in India, the civil society movement is extremely strong. It's very throbbing and vibrant. We hardly see any here, including, you know, Hyderabad is a place where are so many organizations. So I think by changing the emphasis, by bringing issues that are of concern to various people in humanity in discussions here, and giving people sufficient time to start listening and start trying to work out issues like the Vigic did, it will make the IJF far more effective than we have it today. Thank you.